this piece is very just personally special to me because Johannes and I were in Mr. Shebok's class together and this is actually the first piece that I played in the studio class but I played very poorly. You I don't believe that. <laughs> it was so beautiful. Yeah, no, it was really like those repeated thumbs. They were mm -hmm. not working back then. <laughs> so anyways, um, I was thinking what I could share about the piece, you know, of course I back then because it it's something about, you know, God and something very religious almost. Um, and so beautiful. I wanted to just experience the work. But today, I think I'm just going to focus more on the key of F sharp major and the significance of the key for and also for other where else we might experience that key. Because, you know, if you think about the key you know you really don't have we really don't have a lot of music that's in this key because i think the same thing with g flat major but just uh it's a very peculiar kind of thing but let me share my um powerpoint with you okay so So Benediction, Liszt, and F sharp major. So the first example I have, I just wanted to show you how other composers have used it and in what kind of music. music. So this one is one of the early examples by Beethoven. <laughs> Choral kind of texture, very peaceful, and and then when it's so it's very serene and peaceful. Right, it's very calming, soothing, not quite religious in, but it's still very beautiful and warm. That's the first movement. But if you ever play this piece, you know what's coming right in the second move. It's very joyful, uplifting, fun, right? So it's a very contrasting kind of situation within the same key. Very beautiful, serene first movement, and then very, very quick joy, utmost joy kind of second movement. So that's one of the first examples that we can see uh, in music history. But then we have um, later example of Scriabin Sonata number four. It's one of my favorites, Scriabin or one of my favorite sonatas, but... When you hear as a kind of chord, but it's so in that same kind of serenity and very calm and really beautiful, slow first movement. So interestingly, this is another sonata that's also in two movements. So the first movement like this, just very gorgeous, really calming, beautiful use of this key. And then it moves to that joyful. Sorry, I don't play this piece, but. It's uplifting and fast paced and really fun, joyful. Um, just like in Beethoven's example. So these are the two examples using 
the F sharp major in the piano sonata context. Next example I have is Messiaen, Turan Galila Symphony, and the love theme in this piece is also in F sharp major. And um, let's see, let me just stop sharing and start sharing with the sound again. Let me do so. Very interesting that Miss, Miss Yang would do this because um, Liszt was a religious person, right? As a Catholic, you know, he almost got ordained as a priest. And I think he actually had almost all the qualifications to become Catholic priest. And the Messian was a devoted Catholic also. And his music and Liszt's music very much directly reflect upon the really religious uh, nature of the composers themselves. And so if you know, or if you don't know, Messiaen has a piano music collection of 20 gazes upon baby Jesus. And if you just look at the score and listen to this, this is the number 15, the kiss of the baby Jesus that goes on top of the F sharp major chord, just as you saw over here. And it keeps coming back throughout the piece. And then, you know, some B changes happen, but at the end, always it comes back to this chord. And two, it's like Messiaen's prayer, amen, saying amen, or just, you know, no matter what happens in life, we always come back to God, which is this F sharp major chord, and in Messiaen's case, with a D sharp added onto it. So, um, let's now move on to what Liszt did with this key. So, this is from his Hungarian Rhapsody number no. two. I think Johannes actually you. Didn't you premiere this a while ago? I, I think yes. I remember. <laughs> yes, yeah. So you you know this. Mm -hmm. It's one of the most joyful and fun kind of part, right? Parts in all of his rhapsodies and other music. So this is like utmost joy and fun in F sharp major. <laughs> and it ends. In that like very solid F sharp major key. So this is that fun second movement that we saw in the Beethoven and Scriabin's case. So this is his major in that context. But then also it appears in his B minor sonata, which also Johannes premier. It's amazing how much repertoire you are going <laughs> with this project. Uh, but and it's interesting. You hear the D sharp. I mean, I'm just noticing it this morning actually. D sharp appearing within the key of F sharp major context, just as we saw in the Messian's case. So is in the middle of the sonata chorale like texture and for me this section sounds like a prayer just like a very personal moment and he uses the uh, the also you know this is him in many different keys but there is a section <laughs> F sharp major. So this part is very religious sounding to me and really solemn, you know. And then there is another section where, you know, the devil theme, the, mm -hmm. uh, what, is, what is the key that it appears? Yeah. It's that theme. Exactly same thing, but different texture 
and in F sharp major, so it becomes something completely different from that devilish character that we hear in the very beginning. So that's how Liszt used um, the key of F sharp major in his other works. And then he gives us this like beautiful benediction just just right there out there and it starts out with this beautiful texture and beautiful melody and you know just and so f sharp major and um the title itself is religious and the poem that he used from uh, Alfonso Lamartin is also very religious. And so this is sort of like his personal confession, like Messiaen did with his Van Rigar pieces. And um, I just find it so special, the key significance, you know, we have other keys, for example, like C minor being kind of tragic and D minor being related to death, um, E flat major being heroic, but F is something only, I think, especially in Liszt's music and Xiang's music. And this is just something that I have realized after I played this the master class. And then over the next, you know, two decades, I came to realize. And that's just what I really wanted to share with you today. So that's what I had. It's very short. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but thanks, yeah. Uh, so uh, please, uh, if anyone would like uh, to ask or to make a comment or to ask, I think the one that you brought up, GA, uh, that's the cross motif uh, from the sonata. All right, the cross theme, that's right. Yeah, and then the D sharp also that you mentioned. Yeah, that's the kind of bringing that uh, kind of uh, the pentatonicism of the oh, yeah. Roman Catholic, you know. The, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, all the blackies. Uh, well, uh, also the chopstick. <laughs> or the, the pentatonics too, yeah. And that's interesting, yeah, the, the devil's theme transformed. I think that's the dark side of uh, mankind that is transformed uh, through the faith. Uh, I think Liszt was professing his uh, faith through music, even though it's kind of uh, not really inscribed, but we can kind of uh, make yeah, a sort of clues. clues. I mean, he, yeah. he, he left us enough clues uh, for us. Uh, mm -hmm. Hardly can miss that, yeah. 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 And I think uh, if I may add, uh, the combinations, the serene, the beautiful, the otherworldly uh, atmosphere that you brought up like in the first movement and then the second movement. I may use the word ecstatic. I think that's oh, yeah, that's, right. <laughs> yeah, that's what uh, <laughs> sometimes it's already at the tip of your thumb, right? <laughs> I think you you were going to say that word, right? Yes. Because <laughs> Trump is the most ecstatic kind mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. it's like it's like this you are in a state of the utmost joy yeah. but like it's not so different from the human kind of joy you know what i mean it's the different kind of almost religious um state of mind mm. and that kind of joy but yes thank you for putting that word in, yes.